Hi Scorpio, so I'm here to do the energy reads for March uh, using the Empowerment Oracle deck which is in my deck and the Rider right Waite to get the actual storyline. Uh, always check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, take what resonates, leave what doesn't and I'm going to jump straight in for Scorpio. Divine protection, working with your spiritual guides. So you are being divinely connected, divine, divinely connected. Connection with your guys. Uh, divine protection, there could be a protection from a connection or with a connection. So the challenge is not to drain yourself out of everyone else's energies. So don't become drained, don't feel like a victim. I wanted to say victim mentality then, uh, with the drained card. Um, it's almost as if that you're scared of other people's opinions and things like that. I kind of feel like you're protected. Stand up and do not allow them people to drain your energies. Negative energies. That's probably why you've got divine protection. Why is this coming around now? Because you're freeing yourself from them situations. Yay! So you've got freedom. You're freeing yourself from maybe karmic connections, freeing yourself from certain attachments that are negative towards you. You have got divine protection, so it's like you've been led in the right direction. Recent past, we've got the phoenix, so rising back from the ashes. So you're making some kind of comeback. Um, the challenge is to not get drained. Maybe it's like work-wise, don't get overworked, don't get overwhelmed with something. At present, for my Scorpios, we've got a leap of faith. There's new doors opening. It's almost like the universe is calling you out um, to take that leap of faith, have that leap of faith. Have faith in yourself. Near future, we've got the need for balance. So there's things that you will need to let go of in order to balance the situation. Could be dealing with a Libra. Your power in the situation is to stay balanced. We've got the four elements. So she's coming. This, we're coming out of the rainy days. The sun is about to shine. Your power is to stay in that. It's to not go back in that. It's also to use all four elements. So, you know, we've got water, air, fire, earth. It's to use all the elements that the universe has bestowed on us to be very spiritual, to bring balance into your life. What's having an influence over my Scorpios at the minute? Karma. Karmic connections, karmic situations. This karma, what you put out, you get back. But that's the outside influence. So it's other people's karma. Don't get dra dragged into other people's karma. But the outside influence, it could be your karma as well. Maybe there's some things that you do need to let go of, which are karmic, and you've not wanted to let go of them, even though you know it's a karmic situation. Um, it's almost like you're being asked to let go of any karma. You're clearing. You're doing a major karma clearing, to be honest. Hopes or fears. Oh, twin flame. So that's either your hope or a fear. <laughs> so it could have been going around in circles with somebody, you know, but you want this, the yin yang, you know, the balance, the duality. We have got the magic numbers 11, 11. Um, it's almost like you fear this. So single Scorpios, you could be fearing a connection. Maybe it's too strong. Um, If I'm talking to happily married couples and I get the twin flame card, I see it as ending like parts of your life that no longer serve you, especially with the divine protection. But I'm feeling a very strong pull between um, divine protection and the twin flames. It's almost like spirit are trying to bring people together. Learn the lesson. You could be learning a lot of lessons from twin flame. You're right, come with your circle chakra. So your circle chakra is your uh, chakra of relationships, uh, sexual organs, it's your womb, it's your creativity, it's your ideas. Um, it looks like your circle chakra is opening due to some kind of twin flame connection because you've got karmic connections here and you've got twin flame connections and then we've got circle chakra. Oh, this is in depth, isn't it? Let's have a look. Get some guidance. Divine protection in the situation. So we've got the Queen of Swords, could be dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. 
Um, but the Divine Protection with the Queen of Swords, I would say that that's somebody who really wants to protect you. It could be yourself as well. You could have air in your chart. Uh, the Queen of Swords, she's bid through her shit. She's learnt her lessons and it's almost like she knows what she's bringing to the table. And she ain't scared of eating alone. That's half thing. So, the drained card, we've got the Hermit. So, going into self-discovery, meditation, going into your cave. The challenge is, whilst you go into this area of your life, this like, self-discovery, these spiritual lessons and things, it's not to allow the situation to drain you. So, it's to have some kind of balance within that situation, especially if you're doing spiritual work with the Divine Guidance card. Uh, divine protection so freedom oh some kind of communication is bringing in an 11 11 situation you've got 11 11 twice now so you're manifesting but there's some kind of communication going backwards and forwards we've got the 11 11 which is the pro completion of a project it's a happy home life it's living abundantly it's uh magic which is granted you, you know it's um it's a magical reading i'm not gonna lie i want to be a scorpio <laughs> The Phoenix, yeah. So you've done a lot of healing in the past because you've 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 made a comeback. You are the Phoenix. Self doubt could be an issue. Yeah, Seven of Wands always feeling like you have to justify yourself or to yourself though as well, and maybe to others. Um, King of Pentacles, so there could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, that's had some kind of issue with this healing or this like burnout, this phoenix rising type energy. So you've got um, earth energy there, we've got air energy. At present, we've got temperance, so which is balanced, not being afraid to dip your toes into uh, the new waters. And we've got the ace of wands. So a leap of faith, balance, bringing balance into your life. It's almost like you're getting more job back. Uh, the Ace of Wands, it's about passion. It's what, what gets you excited. There's new information that's making you become more excited. Uh, near future, the need for balance. So then we've got the Emperor. I feel like that's your energy, about taking control, taking stock of ideas. And then we've got the Ace of Cups. There's divine love here. So it could be a peaceful laugh. It could, you know. But it's about happiness, it's about moving on to happiness, you're ending karmic situations for true happiness. We've got the Knight of Wands and Page of Cups. So the Knight of Wands is like in and out energy. So you could be like putting yourself into something, throwing yourself into it, and then you kind of back off, or someone else could be doing that. Um, but we've got the Page of Cups, so we do have an offer. There's, there's an offer coming in. The Eight of Pentacles, it could be to do with work or working with somebody to build something up. Um, it's a nice reading though. It's uh, uh, your power in the situation. The four elements. We've got the sun, happiness, and the two of cups. Yeah, there's definitely with twin flames and soulmates here. We've got a divine connection. Um, so you could actually be in between a soulmate and a twin flame. You know, it's and it's trying, it's trying to be. You know, which one is going to make me the happiest? Am I okay where I am? So the karma, the outside influence, we've got the Page of Pentacles, so there's going to be conversations. The Ten of Cups. So it's almost like everyone is willing to do what they need to do to be happy, to stay happy. So the Twin Flame card, Five of Wands and the Empress. So we've got the Five of Wands, which is like drama, chaos. It's the normal Twin Flame kind of union. Uh, you could be battling yourself, but we've got the Empress, which is manifestation, divine feminine energy. Uh, so you could be a masculine with the divine feminine, or you're picking up feminine, could be picking up on divine masculine. It's a battle. It's a, there's a battle there between a soulmate and a twin flame. But you're going around from stormy waters to smoother waters. Things will work out the way they should. The sacral chakra being activated in the outcome, we've got the Queen of Cups, which is your water, uh, your, water your energy. So... Your sacral chakra is being activated, the night of souls, so that you'll take some kind of action. I kind of want to say don't go into isolation mode, don't back off. Um, no, because we've got the king of cups, so no matter what star signs, we've got a power couple. We've got the three of pentacles, 
and Page of Souls. Definitely could be between a soulmate and a twin flame. The, these connections going on all over the place here. Like, which one is it? It's also working together as a team. So now you're stuck like, what the hell do I do? Because I'm feeling all this. All this shit's coming up to the surface. What am I doing with it? The magician, you use it. Alchemy, you use it. Manifestation. Strengthen yourself. Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. So you're not allowing this energy to drain you, you not know, stealing, like cheating or anything like that. I'm not picking. So I'm picking up on like a third party energy, like a triangle, but I'm not picking up on no cheating or anything. Um, but we've got the four of cups. It's almost like you're always, you'll always think, did I miss out? Am I doing the right thing? Did I miss out? The hanged man, they're waiting on you to see things from a different perspective. There's some information that's going to be coming forward for some of my Scorpios. We've got Justice, we've got Libra, again, I think I said Libra earlier. Uh, we've got Libra energy as well. Um, I feel like you, cho you've got choices. And we've got strength. So there could be legal documents also as well, but you've got spiritual strength. This is a spiritual reading, Scorpio, and I'm sure last month was as well. But you have got spiritual strength. There's uh, something very strange going on here. Okay. I hope that helps. Bye.